Wow, I love it. To be fair, even in the winter, it's beautiful. But here we are, October Red Boxing with the winner, and we are back in Bournemouth, the hometown of Lee Cutler. Talk us through your fight, Lou. Yeah, it was good. Um, a little bit disappointed I didn't get the stoppage. From around about round four, I thought I was getting to the stoppage because I watched a bit of footage on him and he doesn't really back up like that. He's normally the one that, that comes forward throwing shots and he looked like he was giving up a little bit. But um, where I want to go on to those 10 round fights, I think I'm like pacing myself in the sparring a little bit instead of like gassing myself like, like in, in, in a six rounder. So I come off the pace a little bit in the uh, fifth and sixth round, which let him just a little bit back into it, got a little bit lazy, but um, overall I'm happy with the performance. When you talk about letting him back into it, but then you talk about you, you know, you're preparing for those longer rounds, the, you know, those bigger fights. Mentally, how do you then say, you know what, like you said, you expected him to box a certain way and he didn't. So then you kind of like changed up your style. Talk to us a little bit about that. Yeah, he was just very smart where he's been uh, pro for, for years. He was just so smart. Like normally I, I, I fight people a lot taller than me. I'm short, I'm short for a super welter, but I'm strong and uh, stocky. So like normally I have to punch up and I have to punch fast. So I get to him and if I'm fighting someone shorter, I was buzzing a little bit today. Well, he's my height. I thought I'm going to land it well. And I just was so, so shocked at how just out of range he was every single time. But that's years and years of experience. So I had to change it up, uh, touch him a few times and stuff. But uh, it's all learning and I, I'm really thankful for, it, for, for him coming down and fighting me tonight. And uh, yeah, learning. It's all learning. It definitely is, but when you go back into the corner and you get that advice from your team, what were they telling you to go out and do, especially when he wasn't boxing, like you said, like he usually does from what you've studied and what you've seen? Just box it range. When I was boxing his head off, I was boxing his head off and uh, don't let him get any shots because obviously on his record he's knocked out 33 of his 39 wins, so he could punch. I didn't really feel his power tonight, I'll be honest with you, um, but he was smart with his shot, so I don't think... He's a one-punch banger, but I just think he's when he's knocked out people, he shocked them with the shots with the slip right hand and like the little shots like that. But um, and he tried catching me a few times with it, but um, I felt I felt good and I felt strong in there, and yeah, all good. Were you always you are a tidy boxer? And I could see because I was watching from here. You're one of these that you've got that professional look about you. You look confident, correct. You're compact, you're neat, and you're tidy with your fighting. So when you say you eased off the gas a bit and you let him back into the fight, explain to us why did that happen? I think just uh, where I'm sparring the longer rounds now, I've, I've been in for the seven area title, so I'm, I'm sparring up with the likes of Josh Kelly and stuff and I'm pacing myself over, over eight, ten rounds, you know what I mean? So I started a bit fast tonight and I was getting to him, I looked like I was bashing him up, he had a bleeding nose and stuff and he, he, he looked like he was fading, but then... I think just my gas, when I'm used to just pacing myself a little bit more for those longer rounds, it just took it out of, out of my usual rhythm, okay? But I think, but yeah, but that's all learning and things. I'm not going to be fighting six rounders forever. I'm going to be, I'm going to be moving up to those 10 and 12 rounds shortly, hopefully. And that is what I like to hear, the fact that you said, okay, this has sort of been like a good learning fight because it's so easy to go in there and win, get those easy wins. But somebody that's got a high knockout ratio and that experience your immediate reflection on, on what you've learned tonight? Just how smart uh, some of the top, the top level are, just with a little, just little out of range, um, and just how switched on you've got to be at that level, and just, yeah, like, just little things like a six and a 10 round fight is, is so different, just by just a slight change in pace. Just that very slight change in pace makes all the difference. It's just like in your running, if you're running at a good constant pace, you can sustain it, but when you start putting sprints in that into it it takes it out of you and a six round fight is more like a sprint and um, even though it's not like a sprint like an amateur fight but um, it is at just that little higher pace which I haven't been doing this camp I've been I've been training for an eight ten rounds so uh, yeah just a little bit different to what I've been training but um, but I'm happy with the performance and we are too 2023 then what can we expect to see from you Mr Cutler I want titles next, whether it's an international, English, um, I don't care who's in my way. I want British and uh, Br the British title in the next 12 to 18 months, you know, so uh, whatever it takes to get there and whoever's in my way, I'm not, I'm not too fast. I will fight anyone. Um, I just want to be one of those uh, uh, big fights when, you, when you're facing off and uh, one of those 50-50 fights where you're really like, ooh, who's going to win here? I know with fights like this tonight, I was still like nervous thinking because he has got that punch power and stuff, but you know, one of those really tasty 50-50 fights, both up and coming, both young, both hungry. I want that. I really want that in the summer next year.
Uh, that humility that you display, even you know, the true reflection on I was nervous, I am going in with somebody that's experienced is actually refreshing to hear. So from that, we wish you an absolutely fantastic 2023. I want to see you fight somewhere else except for Bournemouth. We need to get you out of Bournemouth now. But we wish you all the best and thank you so much for your time, Lee. Thank you very much. If Boxer want me to fight anyone, someone up and coming from the English title in London, wherever it is, wherever it is, I will fight them. I will fight them. Give me notice and I will fight them because I ain't making super well without notice. But yeah, <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you for coming and thank you for supporting. Cheers. Hi, and thank you for watching October Red Boxing. Like, subscribe and tap the bell for notifications. You can also find us on Instagram at October Red Boxing and on Twitter, October Red UK. And remember, at October Red, we stay ready.